some foundation questions on this issue. How did you, yes, how did you learn about the covert video surveillance? During the legal issues. And uh, were you questioned about it throughout this proceeding? Yes. And prior to that time, were you uh, allowed, well, prior to that time, <clears throat> by terms of the orders and the patient statement of rights, were you uh, supposed to be informed of any medical procedures that your daughter was to be involved in? Objection compound foundation. Overruled. You can answer that. Yes. So <clears throat> during this period of time, were you kept up to date about what was going on with the different attempts to, quote, treat your daughter? No. And so did you subsequently learn then that there was video surveillance undertaken of Maya? And when I found out about that, I was very upset. We did not give consent to that. Did you learn that from October 18th to October 20th, she would have been put in a surveillance room? That's what I was at quite a while after I learned of that. I understand. Now, Maya had been uh, videotaped at uh, Tampa General Hospital briefly, had she not? Yes. Did you give consent at that time? Yes. There was an incident where Maya fell out of the bed at Tampa General, and um, they notified us, and then they also wanted to do video surveillance, you know, for, to make sure that it wouldn't happen again, or they could monitor her. Um, and we gave consent to that. Well, it would also have told them that if she got up out of the presence of anybody and walked around rather than staying in her wheelchair, right? Objection to leading her. Sustained. Uh, whatever, what, if any, other benefit would it have been? To see her condition and, uh, you know, to see sure if she could. she's safe as well. Yeah. And also, was it also, to the best of your knowledge, to see if when she was out of sight of anyone, she would actually get up and do more than she seemed to be able to do at that time. I'm not aware of that. Okay. So now tell us then, um, before October 18th, were you ever informed by the hospital that they intended to put your daughter in a room alone? Absolutely not. Were you informed that they planned to test her as to whether she could actually get up and walk around by placing the commode just out of reach? Objection, predicate, and foundation. Overall. It was the, the commode and also the phone. They would ring the phone to see if she would answer the phone. Were, were both of those... Out of reach. And both of those were out of reach? Yes. Had you been asked about this, would you have given consent or told no? Absolutely not. And so I'd like to play publish uh, for the jury uh, portions of 2703. That's 2703A, B, C, and D. They're in evidence. And those are in evidence, I believe, right? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. You may. <clears throat>
Okay, let's freeze that for a moment. <coughs> so, during the time that you took care of your daughter, periods, uh, did you, was part of uh, that treating the lesions? Yes. And did that include putting a certain types of medicated uh, lotion or salve on them? Yeah, there was an ointment. It was a ketamine ointment that was used, prescribed by, uh, I believe, Dr. Hanna, and that was through King's Pharmacy. And so here, can you tell the jury what Maya's doing with that jar? For what I heard, she was explaining to the nurse what, what they are and, and it from the RSD, she stated, I believe, in there. So she's telling her that's what it is. Uh, later on, the hospital was stating that she was self-inflicting herself with wounds. And here, to based on your knowledge, your daughter is actually applying a salve to the lesions? Correct. And do you see where the lesions were? On her legs. And is that typically where you saw the lesions? She has lesions again on her legs. Uh, to this, right now, right now. it does. Okay. And how is she doing right now? Just out of she's not. She's she, she's weak. She still has good days and bad days. Yeah, there's bad days right now. All right. Now I want to show you another one. Twenty-seven oh three. Oh, oh, wait. While we're on this, you see the location of the commode. Yes, I do. Was Maya physically able to make it over there to go to the bathroom? No, if you've seen the nurse, she assisted lifting her legs and that. She's weak. <coughs> All right, did it come to your attention that there were times when Maya, they wouldn't come fast enough for Maya to make it over to the commode? She wet herself several times. The, and I don't know if you could see on the right side there, her feet, the dystonia, it's, they're severely turned in. Um, the one, the, uh, on the, the right on the, one. Right there? Yeah. Now, let's talk a little bit about the blankets uh, over her. Uh, what, with the Aldenia, what, if anything, is significant about the blankets versus people trying to reach out and grab her? Well, the blankets can affect it. Um, just like I said, droplets of water in the shower. But a person, yeah, sometimes when it's severe, even with the person going near her, she'll retract. Uh, there's, I don't know if you're going to show it, but there was a video of Kyle. He actually touched her legs and they spasmed. Um, but uh, it's all dependent on the day as well. All right. And so as you see, she's in shorts. It's probably the most comfortable thing for her to have on instead of long pants where it would potentially irritate. And I note at the end there, she kept the blanket off. Yes. All right, let's uh, look at 2703B. If we can. I keep going. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. And so that position of the commode, again, could Maya reach that? No. Did you see her legs? She's so weak. They're, they're so weak. There's no way that she would have been able to. And let the record reflect that this was performed, uh, this happened October 18th through October 20th. Now, uh, does it appear to you, or did it appear to you, that she, this room was darkened? Yes. Do you know why they, or what they told your daughter in terms of the reasons she needed to go into that room, uh, as opposed to telling her that she was going to be videotaped? They told Maya that they changed rooms after a certain time frame. Do you recall them expressing that they were doing an EEG on her? No. 
Do you recall them, Maya talking about the fact that they told her that what the room was for it was to put EEG, uh, try a new type of EEG on her? No. So why was she in this room? Why wasn't she in there if they were worried about her self-inflicting her you know, wounds? That would, that would make more sense to have somebody under surveillance. But when that took place, she was not under surveillance when they accused her of scratching her face and that. I see. So did they ever put her under surveillance uh, when they started to accuse her of self-inflicted lesions? No. Now, from your perspective, having been through there many times, did this hospital have surveillance cameras throughout? They're everywhere. Hallways? <coughs> everywhere. Outside of the uh, chapel area? Yes. Lobby? Yes. Uh, as you uh, walk down uh, the hallways, uh, Surveillance? There's no way to go anywhere without a camera. 